All right, let's get to cheating. This is a video about one of Rekordbox's newest features. It's called Mixed Point Link. The actual creative use of this technology has yet to be seen, but one thing is certain, it's not very clear how to set this up. So this video is gonna show you what Mixed Point Link is and how to set it up without a controller. You can actually just do it with your mouse, and I'll show you in this video. We're using Rekordbox 6.7.0 or newer. So to find out if you're on the right version, click on Help on the top of the screen and choose About Record Box and it should say 6.7.0 or newer. Next, if you're just installing Rekordbox for the first time, by default, it is in export mode. In order to use this feature, you wanna be in performance mode. So to do that, you click up in the upper left-hand corner, and it currently says export. You're gonna change that to performance, and that's gonna move Rekordbox into performance mode. Another thing you wanna do is make sure that you are in two deck horizontal mode up here in the top left. There are several different options. Uh, horizontal mode is the one you, you want to use. This works in two or four deck horizontal mode. Uh, for this example, we're going to do, be doing everything in two deck horizontal mode. Before we get into how to do this with a keyboard and mouse, I want to definitely advise doing this with a controller or with keyboard shortcuts in order to speed up your workflow. And you can do that easily with this version of Rekordbox. For the keyboard shortcuts, you just go into your settings and choose keyboard. As you can see here now at the bottom, there's a whole new section for mix point link, and you can expand that and you'll see that all of the commands for mix point link are now available to be assigned as keyboard shortcuts. And if you'd like to map this to your MIDI controller, click on MIDI and you'll notice now in the MIDI controller interface, there is a mix point link tab and in here, you can choose add, and it'll show you all of the different commands that you can add and assign a MIDI command to. Let's go ahead and load this track in to deck one. And you'll see that I've set a cue point here in the beginning and also here somewhere towards the end. And now I'm gonna load this other track into deck two and you'll see this one has several cue points, including one in the very beginning and one over here towards the end. All right, let's get to cheating. First thing you wanna do is turn on the uh, beat sync on both sides. So here's the uh, sync button over here and the sync button over here. We're gonna go ahead and start this track and we're gonna enable the mix link mode by clicking this symbol in the upper left over here. That changes the waveform view. First thing we're gonna set is our mix out. See mix out, make sure that's highlighted up here. And we're gonna click anywhere on this top wave. Anywhere is fine. You'll see that this turns blue. Once that's blue, you're gonna press this right arrow and that's gonna highlight everything up to this further cue point. That's exactly the way that you want it to look. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on mix in up the upper left, and we're gonna click anywhere on the bottom wave, and you'll see now the bottom one turns blue. At that point, we're gonna click this left arrow to set the first track. You see how these start to line up? Now we're gonna enable it by hitting mix point link. Now as soon as it hits that point, the other one's gonna start right in time. In that example, there were only two cue points, one in the beginning and one in the end. If you have several hot cues set and you wanna choose which one of those is your mix out point, just keep pressing the right arrow until you get to the marker that you want. Technically, both arrows will work for setting the mix in and the mix out points. I just find it faster to use the right arrow to set the mix out and the left arrow to set the mix in. Another feature in mix point link is a sort of silent cue automation. The way that it works is say you want to start your mix point somewhere in the middle of the song and you want to ensure everything before the mix point stays silent, similar to how silent cue works. It's really easy to do once your mix point in is set, you click on this icon up here and it 
called Silent On or Off, and it says, when turned on, the tracks in the mix in deck are muted from the start of the track to the silent end point. So you can see the entire beginning of this track is now shaded out and it has the word silent in it. And when I start playing this and I click mix point link, you'll see that both decks have started playing, but the mix in deck is silent up until I reach my mix in point. Additionally, once you have this silent point set, you can click on the edit button in the top left up here, and you'll see it says silent edit on or off. When turned on, the silent end point can be changed. The location of the silent end point can be changed to any point during the start of a track and the mix point. Kind of confusing wording, explain what that means. Once you click on edit up here, you'll see that it is turned on. And now I can click anywhere in here and you'll see that this shaded silent area can be moved, meaning that once it reaches that point, it will in fact turn on. So I'm gonna set it to this cue point here so that the silent turns on early before actually hitting the mix point. Let's see how this works out. I'm gonna start the track. I'm gonna enable mix point link. You see both tracks are already playing. That one kicks on immediately at the end of the silent point. And now we've reached our mix point. One last feature is this button up here. These arrows pointing left to right, waveform scrolling on and off. When turned on, the mouse can be used to click and drag on the waveforms. The reason that this exists is because clicking on the waveforms is part of the workflow process for setting your mix in and mix out points. So what this does is this bypasses the mix in and mix out setting and allows you to click on the waveform and drag it to the point that you need. This is handy if you're zoomed in on the waveforms and you want to drag them left or right to get to the point that you're looking for. And while we're talking about zooming on the waveforms, you could zoom in and out by using your trackpad or your mouse's scroll wheel to go in and out. It's also worth mentioning that if you're frantically clicking somewhere on the waveforms and you find yourself not being able to set the mix out point, it's probably because you have this waveform scrolling turned on. Once you turn off the waveform scrolling, you'll be able to set your mix out point, no problem. And that's it. Mix point link explained. Mix point link is only enableable in performance mode and you cannot use it in conjunction with your autoplay. I tried, it doesn't work. If you enable autoplay, the mix point link section up here on the top becomes unavailable. So you cannot fully automate in Rickerbox, but there are some more automation options available to you. That's it, mix point link explained. My thoughts on mix point link, I think that it's an interesting feature. I don't really see a lot of application to it on the fly, and that's kind of the only way that you can use it. It's a lot of work to automate a certain task. If you were able to maybe prepare these things offline and then recall saved links in your workflow, I could see that being useful in performance. Otherwise, I personally feel like it seems like too many steps to do every single time in order to automate the task of making it play on time. I can see maybe it being handy in the four deck mode to where you wanted to get four things going and have a couple of things start at the same time. And you can set up that automation on the fly.